What's up, Bugdugaldini in the garage? Let me paint you a little picture. Your check engine light comes on, so you grab your trusty scanner, you jimmy jam it into the OBD2 port, and you stare at your black screen here and nothing happens. And you wait and you wait and nothing happens. Essentially what you are experiencing is your OBD2 port is not getting power. There are a few reasons that could be. This very thing just happened to a buddy of mine. He came up to me and said, hey bud, you know what? I think my OBD2 port is broken. You think that's something you could fix? And I said, it sure is. The first thing you want to do is actually go over to the port and, and take a look at it. Let's go over to mine and I'll show you what you need to look for. All right, here you are staring my OBD2 port straight up the dress. Hopefully it's in focus. You want to make sure none of these pins look corroded, none of them look broken, and none of them look bent. In particular, the ones that really matter right now are this guy right here. That's your 12 volt constant, all right? And then four and five are your two grounds. All right, that's uh, standard for all vehicles. 16 down here, where is it? That's gonna be your 12 volt constant, and then four and five. You can actually test that with a multimeter set to volts. Now I have the multimeter, you can do this with a test light, uh, or in a second, I'm gonna show you where the fuse might be. But uh, since I have the multimeter out, let's go right here on 16, our 12 volt constant, and to our ground, or you could pick a body ground, don't matter. There you go, reading that voltage right off the old battery. Uh, so I know my OBD2 port is getting power as it should. Now let's say you did that and it didn't work, or let's say you don't have a multimeter. You are not SOL, not yet anyway. Next stop on this journey for enlightenment is gonna be this guy right here. It's your fuse panel. Mine came from right here. This is my interior one, this 2001 Jeep Grand Cherokee has two. It's got one in the engine compartment for all the engine stuff and the one in here for all the accessories. What you're looking for is a fuse, no surprise there when you're holding the fuse panel. Uh, specifically, look for a fuse that says something like OBD2 or diagnostic. Some vehicles have a dedicated fuse. My buddy's truck that we were working on where he quote unquote had a broken OBD2 port, it had a fuse. It was number four, it was a 10 amp fuse. It said, uh, what did it say, diagnostics, I think. We looked at that one, it was a 10 amp, it was blown. We replaced it, we were able to read the code. No problem, done, time for dinner. Uh, but on a lot of other vehicles, it shares it with another fuse and they don't tell you. Those sneaky, sneaky manufacturers want you to have to bring it to the stealership, so you have to start poking around. I'll give you a hint. A lot of times it's a cigar lighter that it shares it with, a cigarette lighter on Jeeps. Uh, a lot of times it shares it with the headlight fuse. So if you believe that you're OBD2 port is not getting power, it's not working, and you looked at it and nothing's corroded or broken, whether you were able to confirm with a multimeter or not, start looking for blown fuses under here or missing fuses. And that will very likely lead you to why your OBD2 port is not getting any power. If you don't find it in here, maybe go look uh, out in the engine compartment. They usually tack it on, if it doesn't have its own, its own fuse, they tack it onto something I would say something unimportant, but Jeeps are all headlights, so that doesn't really track, but that's really all there is to it. Now, if you're not able to find a fuse that's blown and one of your pins is not damaged, you may very well have a more insidious issue on your hands. Obviously, behind each one of these pins is a wire, and they go up into there, and then they go all over the place. Who knows? It's a bowl of spaghetti in there. If your pin is not broken, but you're not getting power at the pin, and you can't find a fuse that's blown, or the fuse for your particular uh, OBD system is not blown, you may have a wire that's rubbed through or broken. You may have to dig in a little bit further. All right, now this is just bolted up there and then it goes into a harness and uh, now you have to play South Main Auto <laughs> and start tracking down broken wires. I've never seen that, personally. I'm not a doctor, I don't even play one on TV, but I've only ever seen where the fuse is blown or perhaps a dirty, rusted, corroded pin. I've seen a bunch of um, some flood cars after like uh, Hurricane Sandy up uh, out here in Jersey. A lot of flood cars, these would corrode. But if you can't find it at the pin and you can't find it in the fuse box and you're brave, start pulling the wires apart. Look for places where it may have worn through or a wire may be broken. Um, on this Jeep, number 16 appears to be a solid pink wire. So that's what you might be looking for. Maybe it's no, it's pink with a purple stripe. Um, and just start tracing it, maybe get a schematic. Uh, if you uh, are really stumped, by all means, you can leave me a comment down there in the squawk boxes. I can't guarantee I'll be able to help you, but uh, certainly could take a swing at it. And the other folks in the comments are really great. It's really all I have on this one. Hopefully you have a simple problem like I've seen 100% of the times I've seen it, but I bet about 98% of the cases, 
one of these pins is broken, or it's dirty, or it's rusted, or it's corroded, or like it was today for my buddy and his exploder, just add a blown fuse. Now the question would be, why, why did the OBD2 fuse blow? Let's see if we replace it and it doesn't blow again right away, but that'll be a story for another day. That's all I've got on this one. It's getting late, it's getting dark. I have to go put the executive producer to bed. So if you got any questions, comments, pleads for me to stop making hacky mechanic videos online, leave them down there in the squawk boxes. If you like the video, like the video, that's just common sense. Uh, subscribe to the channel, maybe even go check out our website, monkeywithatoolbox.com. All right, as always, thanks for watching.